Okay, so OnePlus did improve on their software update rollout. It's June mid now and they have started to push the June update for OnePlus 11 series and OnePlus 10 series. In past, we have seen OnePlus used to roll out that particular month update at the end of that month. But it's good to see that OnePlus is improving on their software rollout. We have received the June update which is based on Oxygen OS 13.1 on a OnePlus 11 and this update brings some new add-ons to the OS which aren't mentioned in the change logs. So we'll talk about every change, what this update brings on the table. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Okay, so here I have my OnePlus 11 on which I have already installed this update. Here you can see it says Oxygen OS 13.1 if we go to Android version, this update comes with 5th June 2023 security patch and if we talk about the version, version is 13.1.0.580. I did not receive the OTA update, so I had to manually install it. You guys can find the files in the description below. Just place that file inside the internal storage, select local install and you will be good to go. The update size is around 900 MB. As per the change log, there are not much of changes, but we have found out some changes which we'll talk about them in a while. First, let's talk about the CPU throttling and benchmark testing. So when it comes to benchmark, I did notice bit of improvements here. You can see with single core device have scored 2002 and with multi core device have scored 5345. On the previous build, single core had scored 1954 and multi core scores were 5118. But when it comes to throttling issues, yes, there are throttling issues which we have seen on the previous build also. On the previous build, maximum CPU had throttled up to 60% and here 63%. And I also noticed little bit of heating issues while doing this test. Ambient temperature was around 28 degrees Celsius. During throttling test, the maximum temperature which I noticed was around 42 degrees Celsius, which doesn't used to happen earlier. But after this update, I did notice bit of heating issues. Device getting warmed up bit faster now. And guys before moving ahead if you guys like our content and if you think it's useful for you guys then make sure to smash that like button and also make sure to subscribe to our channel that will help us motivate to bring quality content. Now let me show you the change logs. So if we talk about the change logs going to about section and here you can see these are the change logs which OnePlus have mentioned which are layered to system communication and connection. In these change logs, nothing extraordinary. We do have the June security patch. Mobile network connection, I never had issues. And the same thing goes with the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity. But as I said, there are some changes and one of the change can be found in the camera application. So if you guys remember, OnePlus did introduce new watermark on OnePlus 11, which was Hasselblad watermark. Some minor changes have been done here. So one of them is now instead of shot on oneplus we get to see the device name which is oneplus 11. let me show you the pictures from a review video here you can see there it was mentioned shot on oneplus but now you can see it says oneplus 11 5g and now you also get the support of this watermark in portrait night pro mode and even expand mode which wasn't available in the previous update and talking about the camera samples Camera samples as always will be posting in a review video. So if you have any kind of questions, you guys can let me know in the comment section below. We'll include them in the review video. And another thing which I noticed, which is under widget section, I'm not sure whether this favorite widget option was previously available or not. But as far as I remember, it wasn't available and this have been added on this newer build. The folder of favorite contacts and towards the bottom side, you have the shelf widget of contact. These two options I feel are new on this latest build. And another noticeable change, what you guys gonna see that's under the settings page. So if you scroll down, now security and privacy tab are merged together. So this is how it will look once you update your device, you'll have this red icon which states that this is a new setting. And now you have everything related to security and privacy under one tab. Things like app lock, hide applications, private safe and even system cloner. Few users were reporting on the previous build that hide apps was removed. But I think after this update, you guys might find this option under security and privacy tab. So let me know in the comment section below whether this thing is present or not. Another great add on is under the multi screen connect feature. So if you go to connection and sharing multi screen connect. Now you'll see a new option called communication sharing. So this is a new feature which has been added on OnePlus 11 where you can use services like mobile data sharing, calling sharing 
and even messaging sharing so if you get any call or message on your oneplus smartphone and if you have your oneplus pad connected with that i mean to say with similar account logged in you will also get the pop-up on your oneplus pad and you can directly reply from there as we all know oneplus pad doesn't have the lte connectivity so this feature will be very useful and it will give more controls on the oneplus pad but this feature is not functional right now because it has to be added on oneplus pad also if you see here on oneplus pad there are only three options one is screen mirroring contact sync and app relay and if you guys haven't seen our multi-screen connect video then you can find that video in the description below make sure to check it out in which we have explained almost everything about multi-screen connect so let's see when oneplus going to add this feature on oneplus tablet if they add before a review video is released i'll showcase you guys in that review video how does it work some minor changes have been done under wallpapers and style section one of them is under colors tab wherein they have revamped the ui so here you can see towards the right hand side this was the older ui wherein wallpaper colors and feature colors used to appear in the pill but now it's only text so this is one change and the second change is under wallpaper and style section is layered to edge lightning but this one i'm not sure whether it was present on the previous build or not which is you can apply edge lightning for incoming calls when i cross checked on my oneplus 10 pro which is running the latest build of oxygen os 13 that doesn't have this option so i think this is also new so these were some of the changes what they have done now let's talk about the fixes which are still pending on oxygen os 13.1 and one of them is this trending app suggestion if you have enabled the global search I did mention in my review videos it doesn't look good at all on premium smartphones but still this thing have not been removed. And the next thing is related to wallpaper based theming part. So you can see right now the wallpaper have some multi colors but the ascent color which is the ascent color which is applied from my device is from the previous wallpaper. After changing the wallpaper I always have to go under wallpaper color and from here I need to make the changes in the ascent color. Generally it should automatically happen soon we change the wallpaper but that's not the case on Oxygen OS 13.1 and this also requires a fix from OnePlus. Now at last let's talk about the gaming part. So gaming I did notice improvement on this latest build without high performance mode only with champion mode turned on device was constantly giving 60 fps most of the time right now there is no support of 90 fps but previously we had seen little bit of frame drops but oneplus have improved a lot in gaming part even if I play bgmi full matches I don't get to see much of frame drops though as I told you guys in CPU throttling also we did notice bit of heating issues and the same thing I did observe while playing a TDM while playing this TDM there were some hitting issues and device was hitting more if I compare with the previous build. We need some time for the update to settle down. I'll keep you guys posted in the review video about heating issues, performance part, battery segment etc. And guys be honest with one question. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you guys like my gameplay or not? And if you like then what's that one thing which you like in my gameplay? And for those who don't like my gameplay you guys also let us know which is that particular thing which you don't like in my gameplay. Meanwhile, here's a small TDM gameplay which you guys can take a look at. So guys, this was all about the latest build of Oxygen OS 13.1 for OnePlus 11. If you still have any kind of questions, let me know in the comment section below. As of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys are gonna like the video. If you like the video, then do give us a thumbs up. And also, if you are new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.